Hey guys, it's Callie and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Callie and I'm a nursing student and I make videos related to nursing school and I'm about to start my fourth semester of nursing school on Thursday. So I wanted to do like a prepare for my fourth semester of nursing school with me video and kind of show you guys everything that I do every semester to prepare for a whole new semester. And since it's been a year now, there are some clinical onboarding things that I have to renew and one of those things is my tuberculosis test so I'm about to leave for that and so I'll take you guys along with me and show you guys that I haven't done the skin test before because last time I got the blood test and for anyone who isn't in nursing school yet or doesn't know what I'm talking about for clinicals you have to do like a bunch of onboarding stuff when you start nursing school like you have to provide all of your vaccination records you have to get blood work done to prove like you have hep B antibodies um, you have to get a tuberculosis test. My school requires us to get the flu shot during flu season. So like in October, I'll have to renew that as well. But yeah, there's all the stuff that you have to do once you start nursing school and then you gotta renew it like in a year. And I've been in nursing school for a year now. Um, so I have to renew that. But anyway, it's 11.34 now and the appointment is for 12.10 and it's about like half an hour away from me. Um, I'm going to CVS, but you have to go to specific CVS's that have like a specific clinic there to do the tuberculin skin test so that's why it's like so far away from me but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video and I just wanted to give you guys a rundown of what this video is going to be and without further ado let's get into it Okay, I just got back and it wasn't bad at all. Um, she let me record it for you guys, which was really nice. I was nervous. I thought she wasn't going to let me, um, but it wasn't bad at all. It was super quick and I'll show you guys. It's like the tiniest little bump. Like you can barely even see it. It's not even a bump. It's just like the mark where the needle went in. And then I'm going back in 48 hours. So on Sunday, I'll go back there at four o'clock and they're gonna check it and make sure like it's all good and everything. Yeah, it like didn't hurt at all. It was like a tiny little pinch and maybe like a little bit cold and that was it. But yeah, it is super hot in here. So I'm gonna go inside now and show you guys like everything that I do to set up for a new semester, how I organize my laptop, how I do everything in my planner to set up for a new semester and everything like that. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so I'm in my room now, I'm at my desk. Um, this is my laptop here and I have my canvas pulled up. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I do to my canvas and everything from the very beginning because nothing's color coded and everything just looks a little bit disorganized. So to show you guys what I mean by that, it's just like none of these classes are color coded and then all of the class names are kind of like super long because they have the CRNs here, like the official class name. Um, but I like to go ahead and edit all of these just to make it look cleaner and neater. Okay, so to edit these, I always keep my Canvas dashboard in list mode, but we're gonna go ahead and put it in card view. Okay, so now that it looks like this, I'm gonna start with this class first. So this is evidence-based practice, um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and change the name and just do evidence-based practice. So it doesn't have like that long CRN there. And then um, I'm gonna choose a color for it because I color code all of my classes at the beginning of every semester and it just makes everything a lot easier, less overwhelming, and more organized that way. Um, so I'm feeling like blue for that class because it's like gonna be all papers and stuff. So it's kind of like an English class. So like blue or green, I feel like. Um, so we're gonna do blue for now. That's subject to change though. And then I'm gonna go ahead and edit this one. So I think this one is complex health. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put complex health 2 because this is our second complex health class. Okay, and then here we have coordination of care. So I'm going to do coordination of care. I'm feeling orange for that. I don't know why, I just am. So I'm going to do orange for now, but might change it. And then I forgot to change the color for complex health. So we're going to do green. Okay, I'm gonna do green because I did green last semester or the semester before last when we took complex health one. So I think it'll be less confusing that way. Actually, I think I like this color better. So 
going to do this, and it's pretty similar to green anyway. Okay, and then now we're going to put it back in list view. So it should look like this now. Um, I might change the orange because it's kind of ugly, but yeah, so it should look like this now. So these are all of our assignments. People are already like replying, which is stressing me out. Okay, so now that that's all done, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I do in my planner at the start of every semester because I like to plan all of my clinical days and my class days just to stay on schedule. And if we have lab days, I'm pretty sure we have at least two sim lab days this semester. Um, and I realized I forgot to tell you guys what classes we're taking this semester. Um, so since this is my fourth semester of nursing school, I'm going to be taking Complex Health 2, which you guys already saw, but that's our med search class basically. And um, we already took Complex Health 1 in the spring. So now this is Complex Health 2. And so that class was all like chronic diseases and Complex Health 2, I've heard, is supposed to be all acute diseases and conditions and care. That's like our heaviest class. Um, it's gonna have the heaviest workload. And then we have two online classes. I think I said in a previous video we only had one, but we have two. So we have evidence-based practice, which is basically an APA papers class. It's just gonna be a bunch of papers. Um, not really looking forward to that, but it is what it is. I just, I'm not a fan of writing papers. I'm not bad at it, I just don't enjoy it type of thing. And then we have coordination of care, which is another online class. Um, I'm not quite sure what we're doing in that class, honestly, because I kind of forgot about it. I'm looking at the syllabus now though, because I want to see like what it's kind of about. Okay, so it looks like a lot like our patient-centered care class, which we took our first semester of nursing school, but that class was basically just all about like how you speak with the patient and how to give the best care that you can to the patient. A lot of stuff I'm seeing on the syllabus is about like the nursing process, teamwork, collaboration, patient and family education. So yeah, it looks very similar to our patient-centered care class. So I'm assuming it's gonna be a lot like that. And then it looks like later in the class, we get into like population health management management, um, healthcare technology, and stuff that I think we're going to be focusing on more in our last semester. So this spring, we have like a public health class or something, like a class that's like centered around nursing in the community. So I'm pretty sure our clinicals, like for our final semester, we have preceptorship, and then I think we do something like out in the community, like something to do with that. I'm not really sure, but anyway, so that's the rundown for my classes this semester. And then we have nine weeks of clinical for our med surge class or our complex health class. I've heard that our clinicals aren't on med surge this semester and they're supposed to be like in the ICU and like the ER. I have no idea if that's true though. They might just wind up still being on med surge or like a mix of both. So yeah, I'm gonna plan out all of our clinical days in my planner, all of our lab days and all of our class days um, and I'll show you guys everything. And then I'm gonna plan like our first week of assignments because our first day of class starts this Monday and today's Friday, but technically our first class like in person because our complex health class is the only in-person one it's all day it's from i believe it's from 9 a.m to 12 50 but i'm not sure but anyway that class is on thursday and that's going to be every thursday in person but i'm going to go ahead and just plan everything out for this first week in here and i'm going to show it to you guys Okay, I just finished planning. This is what it looks like. So as you can see, I labeled all my classes here with their colors. So the same colors I gave them in Canvas, I gave them in here. Um, and then I wrote out all of our first week assignments. So this is our stuff for Complex Health 2. This is all our stuff for evidence-based practice and coordination of care. Um, and then I also just added some cute stickers from these two sticker sets just like a little cute nursing girl and i thought this was cute coffee scrubs and rubber gloves um so i added that as well and then i planned out our lab days so our first day of lab is on tuesday um from 8 to 12 and then we have our first day of complex health class on thursday 
And then our second lab day isn't until like September 30th, I think. And our first day of clinical is on the 24th, September 24th, um, from 6.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. And it goes all the way until November. I just recorded an entire clip for you guys and it wasn't recording. But anyway, now that I finished planning, I'm going to show you guys what I do on my laptop and how I make new files for every single class at the beginning of every semester because I do this at the start of every semester and it just keeps things so much more organized. When I'm on Canvas and I need to submit assignments, I just know exactly where they are when I have all the different folders for each class. Um, and it just makes things a lot easier. So I've showed it in previous videos, but I'll go ahead and show you guys in this one too. Okay, so right here you can see all of the different folders I've had for all of my different classes from all of nursing school. And so like, these are my first semester classes. These are my second semester classes. Um, my third semester was Women, Children, and Families class and this Healthy Aging class. And now I'm gonna add my new classes down here. Okay, I actually decided I'm gonna add them here instead. There's just more room. But anyway, you're gonna go to File, and this is only if you have a MacBook. I'm not really sure how to do this on a PC or a different computer. But you'll go to File, and then you'll click New Folder. And then a new folder should pop up right here. And then I'm just gonna drag it down, and then I'm gonna go back to File and click Rename. And then I'm just gonna name that whatever class it is. So I'm gonna name this one Complex Health 2. And then just click enter and then it's done. And I'm just gonna do this for all my classes for this semester. Okay, so I did it off camera, but now I have those other two classes done. And so now when I click on one, they're gonna be empty right now. I'll show you a full one. So like I'll show you our Complex Health 1 class. Now whenever I click on those classes, it'll have like all of our assignments that I've added in there, which is super helpful. Um, and it just keeps things a lot more organized this way. All right, so that is the end of this video. I feel like it wasn't super long, but I think it was pretty straightforward and to the point. Um, I really don't do that much to prepare for a new semester. It's mainly just the stuff that I just showed you, but this is what I do at the beginning of every single one, and I feel like there's no other way around it. Like, I wouldn't be prepared if I didn't do this. Now that I have everything planned out, I just feel a lot less overwhelmed or stressed out than I was feeling before, just because now I know, okay, these are all the assignments I have due this week, and this is what my clinical schedule is looking like. I have it like mapped out, like I already knew my clinical schedule and my lab schedule, but now I have it mapped out so I can just like visualize it better, I guess. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I really, I'm not really going to do anything else until classes come on Thursday. I mean, I'll probably start doing some assignments come Monday. I'm still enjoying my break and I don't plan to do anything before break ends just because, I mean, some people like to work ahead and people are already replying to the discussion boards, which is great for them, but I just, we only get so much break and we don't have another break for like another 16 weeks. So I'm gonna enjoy my last like two days of it. And then on Monday, I'll start maybe doing some assignments. Um, they're not due until Thursday or Friday, but just to get them out of the way and to not leave them to the very last minute. And then I have lab on Tuesday, so. And then I have to go back on Sunday for that tuberculosis um, checkup. Right now it's still looking good. It's just a little dot here. Um, doesn't really look like much, but hopefully there's no reaction or anything. She was saying if I go back and there's no reaction, they're not gonna measure it, like you're fine. And then she'll give me the paperwork and stuff. Um, if you do have a reaction, then they would measure it and stuff, she was saying. And then after she gives me that paperwork, I'm going to submit that to Castle Branch, which is the clinical onboarding um, website for our nursing school that they use like for our clinicals. But yeah, that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope this helped some people out. And if you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe for more videos from me in the future. And I will see you guys in the next one.